What's up guys? Man, finally. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. So I've been filming outside this whole time. I've had about like five attempts already. And that's enough <laughs> for me to get a video. Um, Be warned, I have a cold. So I might sound a little weird. But but yeah, I'm just, just here to give you a quick update on everything. Uh, Kentro, you know, the 96 day challenge. So, so far in Kentro, everything's going pretty well. I'm really happy, although it doesn't seem like it right now. I'm just really tired. I barely sleep nowadays. And it's all for Kentro, actually. Every day I get home at like, well, I get out of work at 5. I have like an hour and a half commute. Uh, just because I live in New York and there's train problems every single day. But yeah. When I get home, I instantly shower, I eat, and I get straight to work. Now, I do whatever has to get done. It, I, I know I'm like working as the, like in marketing. I know I create content for that, and I do that all the time. But I make, like, that's my job. So I do that all the time. There's no second guessing that or thinking, you know, or like taking a day off. Like, I do it all the time. I think of new ways to make things happen. Uh, I try to become better each day in marketing, but if something has to be done, something has to be like, I get it done, you know, then that can be anything at all. It can be developing, uh, although that's a little harder because you actually have to sit down and learn something before you can develop. And I've been trying to do that, but every time I do that, it's like something else pops up, you know? Uh, for example, I design now. I, I, I basically do everything. But I mostly do marketing and design. I love marketing. I love designing. I've always had like this thing for. Like I've always wanted to design something that really. That really st stood out. Like or stands out. I really want to design something that will last for a really long time. And you know people are going to be like. Wow this is really really fucking cool. Uh, it functions very well. It looks very good. All of that matters to me. And honestly, right now, I've been designing a lot of things for Kentra. Uh, going like from the app to the marketing website to content for our social media. Uh, I do just about anything and everything. So that's my job right now at Kentra. And a lot of times it makes it, it takes a lot of hours. So I end up staying like up till 2, 3 a.m. My parents get pissed off, but you know. What are you going to do about it, right? Like, I need to get things done, and I'm really not going to let anybody or anything slow me down or stop that. And if you guys are, if anyone out there is, like, you know, still living with their parents and you're trying to find ways to make things work, man, a white lie helps sometimes. I tell my parents I'm going to go study sometimes, and I really just stay up to, like, 2, 3 a.m. working on something for Kentra. I've done it plenty of times. Uh, if you can find a way to make that happen, you know, that just just lie like you, you got to get shit done you know no excuses but yeah and that's how it's been going for kentro it's it's really awesome I'm, i am excited and then the next few months we're going to be doing something uh it's a little scary it's going to get scary uh i can't reveal it it's just just keep an eye out all right keep an eye out it's gonna it's really exciting really exciting the whole team can't wait to show you but, yeah, so the 96-day challenge, how has it been going for me? Really well. I'm not losing weight as much as I did before. You know, I posted that thing about losing 15 pounds in, like, eight days. And it's true, I really did lose that. I got to 185. Uh, the goal is 170, so I would be another 15 pounds. But things don't work like that, you know. If you have experience working out... You know that if you're just starting or if you're restarting after uh, a long time, sometimes the progress is, you know, the results are really quick at first and then things slow down really fast. So the past two weeks, I've only lost five pounds, but there could be many reasons for that. I did go back to the gym since, uh, since my last video on the 96 day challenge. I went back, I started lifting weights. I'm a little more responsible now, so I stretch, 
I warm up. Before I go to the gym, I warm up too. Uh, I stretch. I also stretch. So it's like I stretch twice. I warm up twice. I make sure everything is actually ready to go before I start working out. And even when I work out, I'm very careful about how I lift things, how I do things. I keep in mind that my form and a lot of the things I do have to be, you know, close to perfect. Nothing will be perfect, but it has to be close to perfect because physical health is like everything. If you're not alive, you can't do anything else. So, yeah. And I really like my elbows and knees. <laughs> so, that's been going well. I only lost five pounds. So, yeah, I've been working out. It could be that I'm getting muscle, honestly. It could be that I'm, all of the the muscle that I had before is coming back. It's, you know, uh, I don't know what they call it. Some people call it muscle memory. I don't think that's muscle memory, though. Muscle memory is when you, like, perform in action and your body gets used to the form of how it works. Kind of like when you shoot, that becomes muscle memory. Like, it's like the same form every time. But anyways, whatever the name of that is, it's coming back. I'm really happy. I hated being so skinny. I hated being weak. I couldn't throw a punch. I couldn't run. I couldn't do anything because I felt I was going to break. That's how bad it was. I was a delicate little shit, and it was terrible. Uh, and then the second one, learning. I've been learning so much in the past couple. I don't even know how I'm fitting all of it. I guess it's because I love it. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's sticking in my brain. Because in school, I nothing stuck in my brain. Nothing at all. Well, a couple of things. Things that were useful. Uh, but now everything's sticking. And I guess it's also because of one thing. One thing that I tell people all the time. Make sure you hang out with people that are that are better, not better than you, but are better at doing what you want to do. So if what I mean by that is like, if you want to be a designer, you're just starting off, but you know a couple friends that are a couple of steps ahead or they're further down the, the, the journey, you should hang out with them. You should like find out more about what they like did or just talk to them. They'll share advice with you that you it's going to be really useful like instead of having to go through a couple of uh, bad experiences you can save some time some money some energy and just you know get advice from them so that's what i've been doing my co-founders have more experience in like business and and like just about like a lot of other things uh it's a long list but i hang out with them and my writing's improving uh I really had this, I still have it, you know, it's not that great, but I had this problem with, like, putting my ideas out there, like, transferring them from my head, well, my mind or my head, my thoughts to, you know, words, to sentences, and that sounds really weird, but, like, I could never put together words, so it came out, like, how do I say it, because... Okay, one of my co-founders is, like, both of them are actually very smooth when they talk. Like, but one of them, he knows who he is. He is actually my last video. Syed, Syed is really good at talking. Like, dude can convince you about just about anything. It's really funny. Like, and he knows that. I've told him that plenty of times. So, you know, I pay attention to what he does, how he talks, uh, how he prepares himself. You know, I ask him for advice. And it's, it's, it's been working. I I feel, I see myself improving. When I talk to people, I feel more confident. I can express my thoughts, my ideas. You know, I'm a little more convincing. I guess that's because I'm confident and I can express my ideas. When you're confident, it's easier to, to convince people. Because how are you going to convince someone else if you're not even convinced, right? So I've been practicing and, and it's really paying off now. And I'm really happy. Because that's essential for marketing, entrepreneurship in general, business. Like, how can you have a business if you can't even sell your own idea, right? That's, like, crazy. Um, but, yeah. Oh, shit, the lights turned on. Anyways, it's, it's okay because I'm about to finish this video. Um, the third one was vlogging. So, it's funny. Did, I don't know if I, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but this is actually my sixth, my sixth attempt to film a video. The first three times were terrible. 
The fourth time my friend uh, was... Something happened. The fifth time my friend called me. And then the sixth time... Well, this is my sixth attempt. Um, I'm still... Man, what happened to his light? Anyway, oh, there it is. Well, yeah, my sixth attempt now is... Uh, it's going... You know, I'm just going to post this one up. Whether it's good or not. <laughs> I really... It's not that I don't care anymore, but it's like... I'm never going to get shit done if I'm if I'm looking for... I'm striving for... Perf- I would love shit for, to be perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. I'd rather just post it, you know, get feedback from you guys, and improve next time. I mean, it's obvious I need to get a room or some space where I can actually film these videos. I got to get a stand. I got to do a couple things that will definitely definitely help me produce better videos and it's gonna happen slowly you know i have to work to make money and buy the stands and all the equipment but for now i'm doing it i'm just gotta you know if you guys have any advice let me know i i love i love getting it uh feedback and and if you have any advice that also will help me out so why not share bring it like send it my way you know i really want to get better at this so a lot of you guys have way better, uh, like your videos are awesome, and you have a lot more experience than me, and I really want to get this down, man, so bad, <laughs> uh, but yeah, my vlogging is going to be more consistent, it, I mean, I've been doing pretty well so far, um, and that's all that I really have to share with you guys, I guess it's just uh, another update, <laughs> but that's most of my videos now, um, I guess I really got to film more of the action. It's just like so focused, man, that I forget to film. Like when I'm working out, I get so into my workout. Like I'm just pushing reps and pushing and pushing. My friend's like, man, you should have filmed this. That looked so intense. Like you should show them what you do. Like it's serious. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And then I forget. And it's like, you know, shit happens. Whatever. You live and you learn, right? All right, guys. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, like always, please like this video if, if you liked it. Only if you liked it. If you didn't like it and you think it's shit, I would really appreciate it if you go to your, the comments below and you shit on me. That's something I'm, I've, I'm beginning to love because I'm going to improve. If you have advice, send them my way. If you have resources, send them my way. Help me get better at this, guys. Please. <laughs> All right, guys, so see you around. Take care and have a great week, okay? Peace out.